You know, we watch out for each other and this is our opportunity to do that. So please, if you'd like to make a donation to help feed those at most risk, please go to hsn.com. Let's talk coins. What a fun and fabulous and really interesting time to talk about coin collecting. So welcome in. My name is Sarah Anderson. I know there's incredible pent up demand to watch these primetime coin collecting hours. So I want to introduce you right away to our resident numismatist. He's our coin expert. Mike Mizak's going to be on the phone with us as he chimes in from home. So Mike, welcome to the show. Good to hear from you. Well, it's great to be here, as always, for our last coin show of the month. As a matter of fact, I don't think we have another one for almost another month. Right. So it's a really great time. We've got an amazing lineup. We've got great items for beginning collectors or whether you already have an established collection. Uh, but we'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, tell us what's coming up, Mike. We're going to give everyone a sneak peek here. I'm going to hold it up for everybody. The JFK Silver Half Dollar is here today, and we've got flex pay for everyone to take advantage of as well. Well, last Friday, the United States Mint released the new Silver Proof set, which is no big deal in and of itself. They do it every year and have for 25 years. But it's a little different this year. It's already sold out. It's already unavailable from the United States Mint because the San Francisco Mint is shut down and has been for six weeks. Well, the Kennedy Half Dollar comes out of that set. The Kennedy Half Dollar, always one of the most popularly collected coins in the entire year. And this is the special silver Kennedy, pure silver, by the way. They only started that last year. 9999, fine. I have got it out of the silver proof set, like I said, which is already sold for double its issue price because it's sold out so fast uh, that we have 986 is all that we have. We debuted it last night. I think already hundreds of these are gone. I suspect, Sarah, we will probably sell it out in this show. Yeah, I, I would expect so. Uh, but coin collecting, it's such a fun and fascinating hobby. Uh, I would love for you to enjoy, join us for the next couple hours. And whether you're just watching or shopping or you're learning along with us and our resident expert, Mike Mizak, you can trust him to give you all the information you need to make a great decision. In fact, uh, he's been with us more than 20 years on HSN and been in the industry for decades. So Mike, it's nice to have your knowledge and your know-how because it's not easy to shop for coins and it's important to know who to shop from. Would you agree? Oh, well, there's no doubt. As a matter of fact, if anything, uh, the scams, particularly in the coin world on the internet, are increasing daily. Uh, just real quickly, I was scrolling through social media the other day and saw an ad for a coin. And I went to the video and it was me. <laughs> uh, they literally lifted a video of me to sell a coin I had nothing to do with. Who knows what these people are doing out there? I mean, you know, if you want to take the chance, I guess go ahead. But why not buy from a trusted source? Like I said, we've been here at HSN selling coins for over a quarter of a century. This is your safe place to shop for coins. Well, we have a really fun item to kick off the show. It's called the Back to the Future 35th Anniversary $2 Silver Coin. You are getting the Back to the Future $2 Silver Coin. I showed it to you here. Check it out. I mean, if you love Back to the Future, if you're a movie buff, if you love Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly, maybe you remember this from the 80s. It was a sci-fi classic. But here it is. The coin is actually in the DeLorean Time machine if you remember that from the movie it comes with some wonderful artistry on the box as well and you're also going to receive the certificate of authenticity so this is a limited edition right mike well yeah they only made uh 2020 of these 2020 for the 35th anniversary of the movie uh that we have since we're one of the largest distributors of these of these specialized coins that you see right here, we got 15% of the entire allocation. We have 15% of every one of the coins made for worldwide distribution, which are, of course, sold out from the mint immediately. And we are down to, I believe it's under 100 of these coins available out of our entire. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coins. This is only the second day that we have sold these. And already <laughs> this is going out, like I said, only 2020 pure or silver within this. It's a $2 coin. The colorization was done uh, at the mint itself. As you can see, it is truly 
uh, a truly spectacular coin. And, and I love the packaging because what we try to do with that is try to make it, it's not just the, uh, it, it's just not the collectability of the coin. We want it to be the whole package, I guess. You know, and, and that's what we've done with the packaging, with the way that it's held, like you said, in the DeLorean time machine that you have. It is everything that you want in a collectible. That's has cool. the rarity, collectability, has the pure silver, the colorization, of course, the uh, the timely feature of it with the 35th anniversary of mm -hmm. Back to the Future. It has everything that you need to uh, to collect with this right here. And what a great gift idea, too, for someone that you love, someone who's maybe have a birthday, a graduation, maybe it's a, a wonderful gift for a loved one, maybe Father's Day, maybe Mother's Day. So think about giving them something that really will keep on giving. It's something that you'll own and you'll cherish for years and years to come. And every time you look at this, how could you not remember all those fun and fabulous scenes from the movie? It was a great movie. Now you've got a great coin. Plus, you also have this little uh, representation of the Mr. Fusion home energy reactor uh, so I mean really they got a lot of the details just perfectly didn't they yeah and that's the key to to the to a collectible it has to really invoke that you know that feeling you had 35 years ago you know when it was originally released in what 1985 I guess July 1985 when it was originally released and I think we've captured all of that with the coin set right down to the packaging itself that's right. It's all here for you. Uh, we do have flex pay on almost all of our coins this evening. Those are monthly interest-free payments you can take advantage of. We also have 90-day returns, which we don't usually have on coins. So if you are thinking about getting it at home, take a look. Uh, no risk here. We want you to be thrilled with your purchase. And if you love coins, uh, you can go ahead and check them all out on hsn.com. We've got a whole large selection. In fact, our HSN coin experts actually travel the world. World. They bring in more of these amazing treasures. So a wonderful assortment that you can't find anywhere else. I know uh, Mike himself has curated some of the coins that we have for you today. So it really is kind of a, a wonderful time to think about uh, starting a new hobby. Maybe you've got some extra time on your hands or maybe you want to add to the hobby that you've just begun. So we're going to dive into our next item. And here it is, the Complete Federal Reserve 1976 Bison centennial two dollar bill collection i remember collecting two dollar bills as a kid but this this is a whole new ball game this one it's all two dollar bills they were all printed in 1976 right to celebrate our our bicentennial it's a 1976 series they were actually printed for a couple of years after that but it's the 1976 series and if you do I, I i took that one note if you can pull that out right there so you can show the reverse of that particular note because that is the um john trumbull painting of the signing of the declaration of independence that hangs in yale university uh, uh right now so that's why i took that one note out so that you can see that so this is the two dollar bill this is the note that everybody sees but this collection is more than just two dollar bills Okay, this is all the $2 bills. What a lot of people don't realize is that the Federal Reserve releases currency, all currency, through 12 Federal Reserve districts. And they range from New York all the way to San Francisco and in between. And if you look at these notes, they both have to the, uh, both to the left of, of uh, Thomas Jefferson, both a letter and a number. And those letters and numbers correspond to towns. Boston is A, number one. New York is B, number two. Philadelphia is C, number three. Cleveland, D, number four. There's 12 of those, and you get all 12 of the Federal Reserve district notes that you see right there. So that's what those little numbers around the outside of the bill are, is that's the Federal Reserve District that basically printed the note in essence and released the note. It's actually printed at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing and then released through that Federal Reserve Bank. Well, some of these Federal Reserve Banks print a lot of notes and they're relatively easy to get. You see lots of Bostons and New Yorks, lots of San Francisco's, uh, lots of Atlantis. But what you don't see is some of the minor Federal Reserves, Richmond, for instance, Minneapolis, Kansas City. And in this particular set, several of those notes are very, very, very difficult to get. I went out to look, for instance, to be able to get, because getting the complete set in the book is almost impossible. 
But if you go out and look for individual notes, like I found a Kansas City note out there, which is number 10J. It's $61 oh, that's down here. just for the Kansas City note. Wow. Okay, $61 just for the Kansas City note. Uh, uh, the uh, Minneapolis note is a $51 note. The Philadelphia is a $46 note. Just those three or four specialized districts yeah. bring the entire price that what we're charging for the entire and complete set. There's 12 reserves. Uh, reserve districts. This is all 12 of those in the 1976 original uh, gem crisp uncirculated $2 bill series. You have the entire thing. So it's not just a $2 bill. It's not just 12 $2 bills. It is the 12 $2 bills, all crisp gem uncirculated in the custom mm. folder that you see right there. Let me give everyone a, a little quantity update. You'll see a number at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, and that tells you how many we've sold uh, over 1,400. Uh, but unfortunately, that means I have to start counting backwards because I can tell you how many we only have left. Uh, we have fewer than 240 of these now remaining. So uh, tell us when we get it home, Mike, we're probably not going to take the $2 bill, right, out of the protective case. What would you recommend? I don't suggest it, but you could. You could? All right? Okay. You could, yeah. I mean, you can slide them out of there like you did right there. But please be very careful. I would suggest that you wear gloves, cotton gloves preferably, because just the oils from your fingers can mm -hmm. begin to hurt the note itself. So, right. so you have to be careful with that. They're gem crisp uncirculated notes. The tiniest fold or crease in these vastly decreases the value. So I would suggest leaving them. We've put them in the folder so that you can see the note. As you page through and see all 12 notes within this, you can see the front and the back. If you want to pull it out, you know, Sarah, and if you want to pull out that first note, since it's a sample note, and kind of feel it, you'll mm -hmm. feel it, it feels different. It's an old style note. They kind of used uh, some clay in those notes. And you'll feel it's very, it, it's very crisp. It's a, yeah. it's a really interesting feel as you feel that note. You want to leave that. That's what adds so incredibly to the value. It's not just that it comes from every single one of the 12 Federal Reserve Districts. It's the fact that they're original. Yeah, that's a great way for people to look at this to see just how gem crisp these are. I mean, it's paper money. I mean, two weeks in circulation and they're wrecked. These are original. These are 100% original that you see right here. And it's all 12 notes. That's the key. Like I said, I'm just taking a look at this. So I went out and looked at these without the folder and everything else. I went out to find them individually. Yeah. Not the best I could do was 350 bucks individually on these. So we're just about half price. Plus, you get the beautiful folder as well. Unfortunately, as you said, this was a couple of minutes ago. We only had about 20 dozen. Getting these are extraordinarily, extraordinarily difficult. We literally have to find people who have original packs of these notes, so like a 50-count note of these from every one of the districts. And particularly, like I said, Kansas City is a $61 note. Uh, uh, Minneapolis is a $51 note. Dallas is 33 bucks. Philadelphia, 46 So The cheapest one I can find out there is about 20 About $19.90 in these big nationally advertised catalogs to be able to get these Federal Reserve districts. Well, this one, absolutely positively complete. You don't have to hunt or pack. And then what, you, once you buy them, what are you going to put them in? It already comes in the folder that you see right here, mm -hmm. which is amazingly easy oh, to collect sorry, and display <laughs> and show and be proud of. Yeah, I was just going to show you uh, this wonderful folder. So I'm just going to start it from the front. So the portfolio is included, which again, that's, that's something else you don't have to buy separately. That's an added value. And to know that all 12 are together, they're all beautiful beautifully protected to preserve the bill's condition. And then you can really show it safely to your friends and your family. Uh, this is a great hobby for kids as well as adults. And I think that's why we love coin and bill collecting. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? It's, it's great fun for the whole family, the history, the traditions, and of course, looking at all it the is. wonderful, significant moments that, that mark these wonderful years and the presidents and our American history. Well, and, and absolutely, and currency collecting is very difficult. 
because currency goes into circulation. It's destroyed almost immediately from a collector standpoint. So to be able to get high quality currency like this is extraordinarily difficult. That's why we, we don't have much currency. High, high, uh, high grade U.S. currency brings insane money out in the marketplace. I mean, there's some of the national notes, the $20 national note just sold recently. I think it was $163,000 or something like that. Uh, I mean, it brings some of these older notes. I remember I used to be able to collect some of these notes for $100, $200. They're $1,000 and more today uh, because they're just so limited. Mm -hmm. And then these are 100% originals. You can see this is the bicentennial. This is the bicentennial. The reverse of the note, of course, is the famous John Trumbull painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Hangs in the Yale University Library, uh, I believe, is where the original to that is. And when we look at this, I think we're down to about, it looks like I've got you know, maybe 10 dozen of these left with everybody on the phone. I don't know how many uh, uh, we're able to do. There you go. I got 197 of these notes left. They are absolutely, positively part and parcel of American history. It is 100% complete. And a lot of people ask, this is critically important, are these reprints? So in other words, they can't be real, right? These can't be 30, 40-year-old notes in original Gem Chris. These are absolutely original, real notes, and you get all 12 mm -hmm. of them. These are the only 12 that were ever made from the 12 uh, cool? Federal Reserve Districts. Uh, you know, they're actually really fun to hold because they are different and because they have such a wonderful special significance to them. And I love that you put all 12 together. And that's something you just don't find anywhere else. I mean, Mike Mizek puts together HSN exclusives. And also, here's something else you won't find if you're doing some coin collecting out there at the retail world. You don't find FlexPay. Uh, that's our interest-free monthly payments. We also give you the 90-day returns. So uh, just get them home. See if they aren't everything that we say they are. I think you're gonna be so thrilled. And uh, let's also mention another great way to save some money today. $20 off your first purchase if you apply today and buy today with the HSN credit card. And uh, that's another great way to save 20 bucks. So you can easily sort of uh, apply over the phone or online and make your first purchase and, and we'll give you 20 bucks back. So you can start your coin collection today and we're gonna dive right in. We gave you a little sneak peek before the show but uh, this is from the 2020 proof set, a pure silver Kennedy half dollar, Mike. Already it's been very popular, first day of issue, San Francisco mint. And what makes this so special? It's brand new today, so everyone's already uh, jumping in on this one, Mike. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things about this. First of all, it comes out of the silver proof set, not actually the regular proof set. So, you know, and the United States government every year since 1992 has released a regular issue proof set and then a silver proof set. And in the silver proof set, the dime, the quarters, the half dollars that have been in those sets are made out of silver. And they've always been made out of 90% silver from 1992 through 2019. In 2019, they started making them in pure silver. And of course, it was abundantly, incredibly popular in 2019, and they've continued that. So this is now pure silver, 9999 fine. It's only the second Kennedy to be in pure silver like this. But here's the problem. Silver proof sets, just like regular proof sets, are made at the San Francisco Mint. Given the events in the world today, the San Francisco Mint has been shut down because it only makes collector coins, so it's not considered essential. It has been shut down for six weeks. The only silver proof sets that the Mint had to sell were the sets that they'd made ahead of time. And it is a paltry number compared to what is going to be needed or what could be needed in the marketplace, which is why when they offered them for sale last Friday, they went on unavailable or sold out within, within a couple of days. That's never happened before. Their silver proof sets, they always have plenty of them. They just don't sell out. But now, they're, we don't know when they're going to start making them again. They're already sold out, these silver proof sets. They're already bringing double what they were in the marketplace today. And so you have the silver Kennedy half dollar, arguably the most popular coin out of that set, is the silver Kennedy. We have it graded first day of issue. We've got it graded absolutely positively perfect. The annex first day of issue is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. 
So we've got the coin. There's only 986. I have no idea how many we have left. I mean, it not only sold incredibly when we debuted it in the 1 a.m. show last mm -hmm. night, but it has sold steadily on HSN.com all day long. I'm assuming this could be a one-day only opportunity. It might be, Mike. In fact, uh, we're going to actually start counting it down, which means already about half gone, Mike. So uh, you're right about that. It's going to be very popular today. Uh, Mike, for everyone watching, would this be a good place to start a coin collection? It's it's one of the most popular coins, and not all all coins are done in pure silver, right? So it's it's got right the now, intrinsic value of, the, the silver proof of a precious this metal. Year, or last year, sorry, uh, in 2019. Plus, when you look at it, sir, if you can just pick it up yep. and just kind of show everybody the coin itself, it is incredibly the mirror finish on this coin. And that's why they decided to start doing them in pure silver. Before, they just really didn't have the minting technology. As we move forward with that, they're better at that. And so pure silver just strikes up better. It just gives you this phenomenal mirror finish. It lets the, the, the Kennedy portrait just jump off the coin with what we call the deep cameo appearance. When, that, when the die kind of goes in there and, and the metal filled the voids of the die. It creates this deep cameo look that you're going to see on all of the devices or raised parts of the coin. And so, yes, people love the Kennedy half dollars, the largest coin that the United States government makes. But now we have it in pure silver. It's only been the second time that we've ever done this. And then on top of that, we have got what I think is going to be the rarest silver proof set ever put out by the United States government since 1992. Because while the government is technically allowed to make more of these sets, keep in mind, they're now six weeks at minimum behind the curve. They've got all kinds of coins to continue to make. The Philadelphia Mint is only making circulating coinage mm. right now. That's it. So they're Mike, not making any of the special issue stuff. So we're staying at home, but so are all the people that work at the mints around the country. Can you kind of explain to anyone watching? So they've been also affected by these stay-at-home orders. Oh, in, in, in a huge way. Okay. The West Point Mint of the United States, the, the, the West Point Mint of the United States Mint, that particular facility has never shut down. It's been shut down for two weeks. They are currently about 20 million American Silver Eagles behind at the West Point Mint. Philadelphia Mint, who knows what they're going to do with that. We've got the basketball. We've got commemorative coins. They've got all kinds of coins that they need to make that they just simply haven't been able They have to, you have to understand, it's congressionally mandated that they make these coins. They must, by law, make these coins. So what's going to happen? It's not like they're going to go back and make a bunch of silver proof sets. They're going to have their work cut out for them just to do the stuff that's coming in the future. And if that holds true, if that holds true, they only made 190,000 of these silver proof sets. That'll make it the rarest silver proof set in the history of the United States mm -hmm. go government. They started making them in 1992, these special silver sets. It will be by far, by far the rarest set ever put out by the United States government in the silver series. And then you have it at, in absolutely pure silver. You got the special reverse proof nickel, which we'll discuss here in just a minute. You've got all of these special things and then make it the rarest. I think a lot of the coins in 2020 are going to be the rarest. This is going to be exactly in that situation, which is why 986 of them, I believe, are going to sell right here mm -hmm. today. I can promise you, given the time that we have left on this, given the quantity, given the velocity of the sale, of these, we, this will be the only, the only primetime presentation we will ever do. And we school. are very busy on this one. So again, there's a lot of ways to place your order. If you're new to HSN or if you're just starting a coin collection, you can go to our website, hsn.com. You type in the item number 719-596. You can pay in full. You can do interest-free monthly payments. But if you're looking for a way to commemorate a year, a coin is a fabulous way to do it. 2020, is this the year someone graduates from high school or college? Is this the year you or someone you love or maybe you're daughter, your son has a baby in the family, 2020, you can not only remember the year, you can remember the man, you can remember his legacy, and you're getting it in a pure silver coin, 99.9% .9 silver, and it is, again, a limited edition. Tell us again what PR70 means to some of our new customers, the Proof 70. Right. Well, th that's a pretty simple uh, designation. In coin collecting, we grade on a 70-point scale. So from zero to 70 and 70 is perfect. Now in coin collecting, as in any collecting, 
the single most important determining factor of value is condition. The higher the grade, mm -hmm. the more it's worth. For instance, in a Silver Eagle, a 19, 1996 American Silver Eagle in Mint State 69 is a $200 coin. In Mint State 70, it's an $8,000 coin. The, the grade matters. And so PR stands for it's a proof coin. Now, proof is not a condition but a method of manufacture. These are coins that are made specifically and exclusively for collectors. None of these Kennedy half dollars, these silver proof Kennedys, are ever intended for circulation. The only way to get them is in silver proof sets made by the United States government. And this set, the 2020, it's never happened that it's sold out in a week. It's just never happened since 1992 when they started doing these. They've never sold these coins out in basically two or three days. It's just something that they sell for the entire year. That's always been what's happened. This is different, and that's why your opportunity is so limited in this, not only by the number. Normally, I'd do 2,000 of these or 2,500. It's always one of our most popular. But we ordered, you know, we wanted to try to order 10,000 coins. It looks like we're not going to get anywhere near our 10,000 coins. We're only going to get maybe 7,000 coins. And out of those 7,000 sets, only 986 of these Kennedys are going to be perfect first day of issue annex, which is, of course, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. And like I said, this will be the only primetime presentation, not because I don't want to do it again, but because it's going to sell. I won't have the quantity mm -hmm. to ever be able to do it again. It's perfect. It's exclusive. It's going to be one of the rarest, if not the rarest, Silver Kennedy ever put out by the United States government in the Silver Proof set. It ticks all the boxes of collectability, folks. And this is one you need to jump on right here, right now. Like I said, only 300 left already. Two-thirds yeah. sold out in the very first day we've presented this. You're right. It probably won't last our, our two-hour show tonight. So if you want to make sure that you're reserving yours, I invite you to place your order online at hsn.com. Uh, you can also give us a call. But again, take a look. It really is everything that you're looking for when you're considering a coin collection. You've got that wonderful, incredible incredible quality. Again, the number one thing to look for is the quality. And then you've got rarity. I mean, there's only 986 of these. Yours will be numbered, right? Everyone will receive a different number. Yours will be one of the 986 and yours won't be like anyone else's. You'll have a one of a kind. That's correct, and I think that's a really, really important point. Annex, in the, uh, the three major grading companies, Annex, uh, uh, PCGS, and NGC, is the only ones that individually number the coins. Some of the other ones do one of or whatever. You have to look it up on the population report. Annex for first day of issue, you know exactly how many there are, 986. Your coin is individually numbered. You know exactly where you stand within that limited edition. It is a tremendous opportunity. As you can see, they're going very quickly. 20 dozen is all that we have left. Never another primetime presentation. I would suggest on this one multiples. If they never restock that silver proof set, this is going to be one of the most significant Kennedy half collectibles in the entire series. And have you seen, because Mike, you've been doing this for decades, how has sort of the recent events affected maybe some of the demand for precious metals? Have you noticed anything? <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, it's a rhetorical it, it, question. A level I have never seen in, in 45 years of doing this. Um, the premiums, uh, American makes a regular Silver Eagle. They sell for a premium to the, to the silver value. The premium is at an all-time high. It's not even close. It's triple. The premium is triple what it has ever been. The mint is at minimum, just on the regular American Silver Eagle, 20 million coins behind. Behind. Wow. It is gold and silver coins. I've never seen the demand that is right now. Nothing Nothing I've ever seen in almost a half century of doing this even comes close to the demand on gold and silver right now. Wow, we love having all the great information and, of course, all the wonderful expertise that you've had over the last few decades. So jump in on this one. We're just going to let you know when that sells out because we're busy processing all of your orders. Thank you for all your calls. Congratulations. What a great find. Uh, I, that's a wonderful addition to your coin collection. All right, we've got to give everyone a sneak peek, Mike, just to perhaps whet your appetite for the ultimate find today, a very, very special coin, Mike. It's the Gold Buffalo. <laughs> this one, well, we debuted it last night. We usually sell two or three or four or five. I think, what do we have, eight left? Something like that, eight or nine left. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's made at the West Point Mint. Another problem. Remember, the West Point Mint is shut down. It's never done that before. We have got the proof buffalo from first day of issue in perfect proof 70 deep cameo. Same situation. I think this is quite likely to end, going to end up as the rarest as the rarest gold proof buffalo coin in the entire series since they started making it in 2006. Look at the number. We have 19. I usually have 40, 50, 60, 100 of these. 19. There's only 19 in the world, and yeah. uh, they could be gone before we even get to the presentation. I just wanted you to know that we have this very, very incredible piece. Uh, it's it's something that's really in the class by itself. So, Mike, we're going to take a short break, but I want to give everyone a quick update. Uh, we already have our first sellout of the hour, so congratulations. It looks like the JFK silver half dollar has been spoken for, but thank you so much. Uh, we'll be right back, but I know we've got so many great more collectible coins coming up. Dimes and nickels and quarters, half dollars and more. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Customer Appreciation Month is all about you. All of April, we're showing the love to our HSN card VIPs with exclusive perks like VIP Tuesdays. Get a special offer every Tuesday in April, plus extra flex or 12-month VIP financing on every item all month long. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsn card or call 1-800-284-3100 for details on our exclusive VIP offers. We use goat milk because we had it, and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. All right, I just got a quick update from my producer. If you want our today's special, that amazing shark lift away vacuum, there are still a few left. I'm, I'm just putting it out there in case you have that on your wish list. Uh, they're almost gone, but you might get last call on our website at hsn.com. That price goes up at midnight, but hey, if you're just tuning in, it's all about coin collecting. My name is Sarah. We've got Mike Mizag on the phone joining us, our resident numistatist. And we're gonna talk next about a brand new coin. Lots of new coins tonight, Mike. This is from the great American coin hunt. Uh, this is celebrating America the Beautiful National Parks. It's a series of coins and this one in particular is the Weir Farm National Park. We've got it here today on FlexPay for everyone. Uh, Mike, this has been a big collector's item, right? People are collecting these quarters. Yeah, and, and, and so the United States Mint last year, 2019, they really upped their game in a big way. And one of the things when I was a kid, we could search through our change, and we could find coins that were valuable. We could find coins that were worth something more than the change. Well, that's ended over the last 15 or 20 years. So the United States government says we're going to change that. So what they did is they never made a circulating quarter at the West Point Mint. So what they decided to do is take some of the quarters starting in 2009 and put a West Point Mint mark on them and just release them into circulation. So that's what this discovery thing is. Look through your change. If you get a quarter with a W or West Point mint mark on it, and that West Point mint mark is right at the Washington's head, right at the base, there you go, you can see, it's basically a $20 bill in any condition. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you go through your change. If you find a W, you found a $20 bill because there's only like less than one-tenth of one percent of the mintage has a W mint mark on it. Well, since they are released into circulation, what you've got on these is the fact that as soon as they're put into circulation, their, their condition goes to nothing. So Mint State 67 is the highest grade in existence for these W Great American, W Mint Mark Great American quarters. There's no Mint State 68, no Mint State 69, no Mint State 70. So you're looking at the highest graded coin from the West Point Mint. Now remember, the West Point Mint is shut down now, okay? So we got, they made these prior to that. They released some of them into circulation. Now, additionally, it's early discovery, so it was in the first 30 days of release. So that's been a big thing. Now, the other cool thing about this is go back to the Washington side. Mm -hmm. And right next to it, you see where it says Privy Mark? 
A privy mark is something that a, a government puts or a mint puts oh, on a coin to distinguish mm -hmm. it. The United States government has never used a privy mark on a circulating coin before. And so we have now got a privy mark. So it's Washington's face, mm -hmm. and it's in front of it, right about his chin. And you'll see it says V-75. That is to commemorate the 75th anniversary of our victory in World War II. It is placed inside of what's called a cartouche, okay, so a, a box that holds the B-75 privy mark that is an exact replica of the reflecting pool at the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. They've never done that, so now they've made it additionally collectible. So you've got the West Point Mint, which is almost impossible to find. Most people have never seen it. You've got it in the highest grade in existence, okay? You've got an early discovery, and you've got the very first privy mark circulating coin ever made by the United States government, and you're holding it in your hand in what amounts to a registry mm. grade in terms of the highest grade in existence. Oh, and actually, the, the wonderful symbols here, it's a wonderful artist. He's wearing his painter's smock. He's standing in front of an easel. He's on this historic farm, on this historic site in Connecticut. So if you have a special collector who is an artist who loves history, maybe you've been to this national park, or you're a big collector of the American National Park Quarters, I would jump on this. Uh, it is brand new and they are going quickly. We have that on Flex Pay for you as well. Uh, so pay attention because you might not be able to see that one again. It does come in the nice velvet box as well. So you've got a wonderful way to present and cherish your coin for many, many years to come. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to show you this one. If you want just the MS66 version, which is one grade slightly lower. Is that right, Mike? Yes. And, and it's $80 less. Remember, the higher the grade, the more yep. it's worth. So you just want the special privy mark. You just want the West Point Mint, one of these early discovery coins in the second highest grade. And $99 is more in your budget, or you don't necessarily care about it being a registry or highest graded coin. $99.95 fantastic opportunity mm -hmm. for you uh, right there. All of these extraordinarily, mm -hmm. extraordinarily limited because they're early discovery coins as well, first 30 days. Yeah, really fascinating. Also, you still have all that original gorgeous luster. You can still see the detail beautifully. All right, uh, so those are your two options there for that National Park quarter. And then uh, follow along, we've got another great U.S. National Park and Innovation coin set. Uh, wow, it's also on auto ship, which means you can slowly collect the entire set. Uh, Mike, this is such a fascinating item. It is brand new. So if you can, explain to everybody what they're getting and then what comes in the future to complete the set. Well, we got to reach back in time about 20 years here. The United States government, look, I understand coin collecting was probably the most boring thing in the world about 1998, unless it was maybe stamp collecting. Uh, we were pretty boring, okay? Then the United States government decides to, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it five quarters a year. We're going to do all the states in the union in the exact order of statehood. And all of a sudden, the statehood quarters were born, and it was, it's been incredible ever since then. And we're doing so. They did the national parks quarters, or they did the state quarters, then they did the national parks quarters. Now they're doing the innovation dollars, all based on states. So what you've got with this is all the states. So you have the state right there. Uh, uh, so you start with the state quarter in brilliant, uncirculated condition. So the very first one, they're done in the order of statehood. So that's going to be Delaware. So you get the Delaware State Quarter, you get the Delaware National Parks Quarter, mm -hmm. and then you get the Delaware Proof Innovation Dollar. So that's the entire state collection. Oh. So that's what you're doing with these, is this is the complete state collection. Mm -hmm. The state quarter, the National Park Quarter, and then, of course, the new Innovation Dollar, each one with a different theme, but the exact same states. So you're collecting Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Delaware, Jersey, Georgia. Pennsylvania. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh, New Jersey, Georgia. So you're getting all the first four states in your first right. shipment. Yeah, well, and, and here's the other cool thing about this. So you have the first four states. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the Innovation Dollar Series, and you get that. So you get all that for $89.95. There's also a little coin down there at the bottom. The United States government decided to do for the Innovation Dollar Series what was called an inaugural coin. It doesn't go to any state, it was just introducing the coin. It wasn't in the proof set, 
You know, so we're going to give you that as well. If you're going to get all the proof coins, you got to get all the proof coins, okay? And so there you have it right there. There's the innovation proof dollar that is the inaugural coin in the original government packaging for that particular coin. That is also included in the $89.95, also included in the $89.95. Now, here's what happens. So you get the first, you get the inaugural proof mm -hmm. coin. You get the first year of issue, all the 2019 coins. Right. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, uh, Georgia. Georgia. Connecticut will be the first coin in 2020. Uh, so you get the first four coins. You get the both quarters, the state quarter, the national parks quarter, and the innovation dollar in, and the innovation dollar in proof. And then your auto ships are going to be the states going forward. So your first auto ship will be Connecticut. Okay. Got it's it. It's going to be Connecticut. And so it's twenty four ninety five for each one going forward. Remember, your price can never go up, and your delivery is guaranteed for the entire life of the program. Of course, you get the collector box. I think it's with the Massachusetts coin. You get the collector box that holds all of the lenses that you're going to have. You oh, have sure. Oh, that's nice. Everything else that goes with that as well. So it already comes just like this with that beautiful protective case. So you're getting four plus the inaugural coin with your first shipment at $89.95. And then going forward, you'll receive one state each shipment and that will be as low as $24.95. You can stay on the program until the very end. Then you'll have what, all 56, right? One for each state quarter and then uh, the territories? Yeah, there's 56 state quarters. There's 56 territorial quarters, mm -hmm. and there'll be 56 innovation dollars. Okay. And they will be released as the United States government releases them. It'll actually be four shipments a year because the United States government is doing the uh, innovation dollars, four coins per year, four coins per year. And as the innovation dollar comes out, because we have the state quarter, so that state quarter, that Delaware state quarter, that's from 1999. That coin is already 20 years old. Wow. So we've really had to reach back into time to be able to get this. And then if you look at that, I mean, you know, the National Parks quarters, those start. Now, it's interesting. They come out in various years. They were done in the order of parkhood as opposed to statehood. So, you know, it all kind of comes in. But what you do is we're giving you the opportunity to collect these on a state-by-state -state basis in the exact order that the states joined the union. I love that because it really is kind of a one-stop shop. It's like you don't have to try to figure all of this out on your own. You don't have to search for each of those quarters or each of those national parks. It's going to come to you. So uh, a great way to start your collection, a great way to fill out the collection that maybe you've already had. But really one of the most popular programs in history of the U.S. Mint is the National Parks Quarter. So that's part of your package today. And we'll take care of the rest. We'll take care of shipping those to you as soon as they are released. You can do flex pay on your first shipment. That takes it down to $29 and change for your first shipment. And then going forward, it's just $24.95. You can cancel that program at any time. So you can enjoy it as long as you want, or you can stay until you have the whole complete collection. It's really a great opportunity. And Mike, no one else does this like, like you do. Will you, will you explain that to everybody? It's not like these are just sitting on a shelf, right? At, no. at, at coin collecting <laughs> shops everywhere. You, yeah, but, but for someone who's new, they might might just think, oh, I could go buy this somewhere else. You actually put all these collections together for us. Right. Well, first of all, you'd have to find a lens that this goes in because this is custom made. Right. So you kind of got to start and do a do a uh, injection mold for a lens. So that's one hundred eighteen thousand dollars. OK, to get the lens going and then you got to custom design the inside packaging to that. And then you got to print those and you got to have dyes and you got to uh, because nobody else is doing it this way. This is 100 percent exclusive to us here at HSN. Look at this. It's the only way to get this. We have made this as easy as is possible. You would have to go out. I can't even imagine. First of all, you have to find a place you trust to be able to buy it. Then you got to get the Delaware quarter. Then you got to get the Delaware St uh, National Park quarter. Then you got to try to find the Delaware proof point, which, by the way, isn't in the proof set. The United States government uh, only releases those innovation dollars by themselves. So you've got to do that. You got to get the whole set. Then you got to break it out of there. And then you got to find a way to store them. We take care of all of that for you. 
And that's the incredible thing with one phone call. Remember, no, you know, no clubs to join or fees to pay or any of that other crazy stuff. It's HSN, okay? Yeah. You know, you don't want any more? <laughs> one call, easy as can be. There's That's absolutely right. Absolutely understand mm -hmm. the obligation is ours. The opportunity is yours and your price can never go up. And that's key. And right. Here's why. The proof coins this year from the United States, men, they raised them 20 percent from last year. Hmm. Okay, Interesting. That, but the government changed the price. We will never change your price. We don't, we do not do that. And that's why it's really important no matter where you buy your coins to buy from a reputable dealer. Uh, we've been presenting coins as long as we've been open, which is more than 40 years. Uh, Mike Misak's been your resident coin expert for many decades. So he's a name, he's an expert that you can trust. And then of course you always have your 90 day return policy here as well. So uh, go ahead, just get them home. Take a look. I think you're going to be thrilled. It'll be so fun. Hey, the kids are at home too. A lot of online learning at home schooling going on. It'd be a fun way to get kids involved. You can talk about the states, you can talk about the national parks, and you can share that wonderful joy of history with your friends and loved ones. A wonderful gift idea as well. So take advantage of that great program. I think you're going to be thrilled. It's the first presentation, so you're the first to get in. And those are also a limited quantity. So once they're gone, uh, they're gone. You might want to make sure that you jump in as quickly as possible. All right, speaking of quarters, uh, we've got more quarters coming up, but Hey, let's give everyone a sneak peek at the Jefferson Nickel and U.S. Silver Proof set. Tell us about this one, Mike. Well, the new bane of my existence is this Silver Proof set since the government has sold out of it. The secondary part of this, as you can see, I've got this in 70 or perfect condition. Well, we finally got our sets of this sold out, you know, sold out set from the government, the Silver Proof set. And of course, the nickel's grade horribly. So the problem is, is if you look at this, this is the 70, so it's perfect. If you look at our limited edition, it's 1,220. I'm here to tell you right now, we will never be able to fill that edition at 1,220. We don't have 1,220 to sell. I'll never have 1,220 to sell. And the reason behind that is, is this coin is grading so poorly. It is uh, uh, to get it in absolutely perfect condition, this special reverse proof nickel that you see from the West Point Mint, that's the special coin. Plus, we're going to give you the silver proof set that nobody else has in the marketplace because it's already currently unavailable from the United States Mint for the first time in history because they've shut down the San Francisco Mint. This all the available coins that we have, I believe, will sell out mm -hmm. in this presentation. Like I said, I wish I had 1,220 to sell. I simply do not. All right, so that's coming up next hour. Uh, we, we only have a few hundred of those. So uh, we've already had a couple sellouts already. Uh, some more sellouts we'll announce shortly, but I just want you to make sure that you're getting in. It's our last and final show of the coin collection uh, for the rest of the entire month. So a wonderful time to think about Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, anniversaries. Maybe there's a graduation gifts and if you can't be with your loved ones well why not give them a gift that they will treasure for years and years to come by coming up next we are going to our complete set of clad proof state quarters not one quarter not two quarters not five quarters or ten quarters you're getting 56 coins representing the 50 states and of course one for each of the u.s territories what a wonderful way to start your state quarter collection right here and right now. And it's on sale, $100 off. It's already a big customer pick. You can read the rave reviews online. Uh, a really back by demand opportunity. Uh, Mike, tell us about this one. Well, it, it's interesting. I, uh, like I said, you know, when the first state quarters came out in 1999, I was, of course, on television selling them. <laughs> How long I've been doing this. So we got to go back a long time. Um, we have, uh, this has been one of the single best selling things that we've ever done. I have never since 1999, from 1999 through 2019, today, 2020, today, I've never sold this for $199.95. This is the lowest price I've ever done it for in this configuration. And by this configuration, I mean in a red oak presentation box yeah. that by itself I believe is a $79 value. Is that correct? $69, $79? Just the box itself. Wow. If you go to uh, hsn.com, if we even have any, mm -hmm. look at that. It's absolutely stunning. That's our piano finish box, which we call, you know, because it's that shiny, like a piano, like a yeah. brand new piano. Like a beautiful lacquer. 
stealth that it comes in is tremendously collectible. Now, what we've done is we've individually curated every single coin out of a proof set. We have then put it into their own individual airtight holders so that you can look at them. These are the original stakeholders from 1999 all the way through 2009, as you can see right there. Every one of them. Now, these aren't the regular coins. These are the proof coins. These are the proof coins that were only come out of United States government issue proof sets. Now, keep in mind, there's 56 coins in there because we include the territories, right? Right. The holders alone, the acrylic holders, are 59 cents a piece. Folks, that comes out to 59 cents times 56. You're looking at well over $30 of holders. So the packaging alone here is $100. So now that means the coins, look at that. That's why we put them in those so you can pull out each coin individually and look at it. It is spectacular Excellent. for you to be able to do that. I mean, it's really difficult to do in a lens. The lens, the original lenses that you mm -hmm. have can kind of hide some of the defects or problems in the coin. This way, there's no way you can see this. So really, I have the proof state quarters, what it comes down to, for $100 if you just value the packaging. Well, let me give you an update. Yeah, just the, the box on its own. Uh, what was that, Rick? Uh, my producer found the price for the box. Right now, it's uh, it's on sale for $55, but it's a huge customer pick. And anywhere else, you'd have to buy that separately. Uh, but you're getting that included, as well as the felt presentation. And I love how each coin is encapsulated. So if you're having a little treasure hunt with your niece or nephew or grandchildren, you can say, let's try to find... Colorado or let's try to find Hawaii or Ohio or Tennessee and you can you know have some fun reach in there you can pull out each coin and you can look at the picture you can try to guess where it is uh, all of them featuring a beautiful state park it's just such a wonderful way to, sh to share your love of coin collecting with friends and family right and I want to talk about the value because, I mean, you know, it's, it's truly spectacular. I mean, you know, we can go through some of the states, for instance. You know, it's a history lesson in and of itself. The Arkansas Quarter, which we've seen a couple times, it has a diamond on it. You know why the Arkansas Quarter has a dime on it or a diamond on it? No. It's the only state in the United States that has a working diamond mine. And it's not really a huh. working diamond mine. It's what I, I think it's what's it called, Crater Lake State Park. You can go hunt for diamonds. You pay your $5 park fee and go look for diamonds. They find you know, a big one every couple of years that's worth a couple hundred grand. And so that's why that's on there. Each state picked what was on the quarter, mm -hmm. and that's what made it so incredibly popular. But let's talk about value just for a second. So if we can go to the, to the coin set and go to the last coin in the set, which is going to be the Northern Mariana Islands, all the way down at the bottom right. And if you count back six coins, okay. actually count back seven One, coins, two, you'll get to the Hawaii coin. Okay. Let me now see if I can. Remember I said by the time you count in all the packaging, it's basically about $100 worth of packaging. Can I grab the right So there's one? the Hawaii coin. Individually, if you go buy the Hawaii okay. coin, Hawaii, Alaska, okay. Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma, the five coins before that. There it is. Individually priced, $22.50, $19, $19, $19, and $19. Those five coins from Hawaii back are $100 purchased individually. That's what I'm charging for the entire set. The Hawaii coin's the key to the entire series right there at $22.40 mm. for that coin. You're paying less than $2 when you value the packaging in, in this. I've never done this price. As a matter of fact, in the past, in the height of the state quarter collector, this was $499. $299 was the best price I'd ever been able to do in the custom Red Oak presentation box. We are $100, $100 less than this. Now, understand, these are not the mint state coins, the coins that you got in your, uh, uh, you know, in your chain. Mm -hmm. These are the coins that come out of the proof sets. So these are the special collector coins. They're, you know, 20, 40, 50, 100 times rarer than the coins that came out of your chain. These are the special coins in the series. And all 56 coins, not only the 50 states, but the six territories as well are included within this. Coin by coin, like I said, just the 2008s are about $100. Coin by coin, you're the better part of $400 for the coins.
Wow. And you well, know, I half price to the coins and you get all the packaging. <laughs> and you get everything here. I think you're going to have a blast. I'm already fascinated. And, and I'm looking at this upside down and backwards. I can't imagine how much fun you're going to have at home <laughs> to actually go through each state. I'm seeing state quarters here that I've never seen in person. I've never held in my hand. I never got back in the change jar after buying a cup of coffee. So you'll have so much fun. And they're really easy to see. They've, they're struck at least twice, that clad proof coin. They've got the mirrored background. They've got the high relief. I mean, the, you can really see the detail in these coins, even even from far away, Mike. Well, and, and the best way to do, to, of course, you know, you look at it, it's that mirror finish, you can tell that. But the other key to this, if you flip the coin over, Texas. grab any one of the coins mm -hmm. and flip it over and show the Washington sign, it's the mint mark. It's the San Francisco mint mark. San Francisco only makes proof coins, folks. You cannot buy a San Francisco minted coin. None of the San Francisco minted coins were released into circulation. Okay, they're only available in the proof sets. Now, here's the best part. So when you look at this, so had you been buying these from the United States Mint, in just the little quarter lenses that the United States Mint released starting in 2009, or 1999 mm -hmm. through uh, 2009, you would have paid for just your little plastic lenses, more than $199 from the United States Mint. So I am selling you this entire set for less than original mint issue price. And goodness knows they gave you no red oak presentation box and 50 <laughs> six airtight acrylic holders that are an additional wow. hundred dollar value look how beautiful this case is i just i just want to hold it because this is this is oak uh this isn't a plastic this isn't a, a faux or an imitation box it's beautifully lacquered and this wonderful cherry brown color you've got this little lid here that you can pull up and of course i'll show you this wonderful felt design and you can really see all the coins displayed beautifully. Of course, you can have it in the bottom of the box. Uh, we're showing it up here just for television presentation purposes, but it's beautifully done. And each quarter, again, if you're just tuning in, it has like a little indentation so you can pop it out easily and explore and you can read and you can check out the state. Okay, so we're looking at Massachusetts. You see the shape of the state. You see a it looks like, you know, one of the earliest settlers, one of the colonists, so celebrating, you know, the history of each state, celebrating some of the beautiful uh, national parks that also, of course, really are part of our American history. They're part of our legacy. So I just, I just can imagine hours and hours of fun uh, with anyone that you get together with and, and share the wonderful treasure of these coins with, Mike. Like, and, and, and here's the interesting part. So the United States Mint went to each state and let them decide what was going to be on their quarter, which was unique. They'd never done that before, took input like that. My favorite quarter, I don't know if we can find it, is kind of towards the middle end. Okay. It's South Dakota, South Dakota quarter. All right, I'm going to turn it around favorite. so I can read it here. We're going to look for it in there someplace. It's the South Dakota quarter. It's the one that has Mount Rushmore on it. Ooh, that so we sounds can cool. we find it in there someplace. So it's got Mount Rushmore right in the middle of it. But the cool part is, is from a coin geek like me, it's also got some wheat ears on the outside of it, which is very similar and reminiscent to me of the Lincoln set. They did the wheat ears on that. So it has this old coin style. It has Mount Rushmore right in the, uh, in the middle of that. It's the 2006 coin. It's the last coin in 2006 that you'll see, right next to the Buffalo coin, I guess, uh, uh, the North Dakota coin, the coin that has the big buffalo on it. And so you've got that. But then the thing I love about it is so uniquely American. So you Here have go. Mount Rushmore. You've got the, the wheat ears on either side that's reminiscent of the old wheat ear penny. And then you've got South Dakota decided to make and put a pheasant flying over the, the whole thing. It is so uniquely, incredibly, phenomenally American, and that's what each and every one of these represent. It is spectacular. That's the North Dakota coin. Yep. The South Dakota coin is the one, or it should be the one right yep. next Yep, I got it. it. Yeah, I got it, it now. Yeah, yeah, it's spectacular. <laughs> we got it right now. Isn't that just amazing? I love uh, that. You got the wheat ears. You got the Mount Rushmore. You got the pheasant. It's just so American. 
and you can find that in each and every one of these coins. They're all yeah. sold out limited editions. They've all, they're all over 10 years old. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so cool because they each tell a story. And it reminds you of whether you've traveled in these states, you've lived in these states, you've got family or relatives in these states. And of course, you're getting the beautiful presentation box included, another $55 value. Uh, so I would lock this in in a hurry. Go to hsn.com. We've been very busy and we've got one final hour left of coin collection. And that is our final show of the entire month. Not going to be back for a long time. So check out all the wonderful collections online at hsn.com. And we'll be right back. Remember the gold buffalo coin coin solid gold one full ounce of pure precious metals all coming up that and so much more during our next and final hour of coin collection check it out online our happy place cleaning products are made with plant-based ingredients which means less chemicals in your house which will make it a happy place people think can it work well and it does we chose plant-based ingredients so you're not breathing in fumes you're not putting as many chemicals where your kids and your pets are touching them. There's a lot of great benefits to cleaning with our Happy Place products. If we can get your home clean, that's what makes your home a happy place. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent